Hey guys, and welcome back to another crazy hair day for Sarah. Not really, but yeah, my hair is doing its own thing today, and that's why it's really pinned back. But let's move on. <laughs> it's already dinner time here, and I'm trying to figure out what to cook. And I have an idea of what I'm going to cook. I'm going to make katsu, but I don't know what I'm going to do for sides. One of the sides is obviously going to be rice, but I need something else to go with it, if not a couple of other things, because I'm tired of just rice and something else and maybe a salad. Yeah, I'm tired of that. So I think I'm going to try and make this. You might have seen this before on some other people's blogs. I love this seasoning mix. This is basically spinach with sesame seasoning. This is basically ground sesame with maybe some other seasonings in it. It is so good. Oh my gosh. All you have to do is saute the spinach or boil it, whichever one you prefer, and put this over it, mix it all together, and you're good to go. It's all done. So simple and easy. So let me saute the spinach real quick, and then I need to put this on it. So I have just finished sauteing the spinach, and now I'm going to put this in it and give it a good mix yum 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 and you're all done now I did do two packs of spinach because I love spinach and I'll eat that entire thing all by myself yes but it's supposed to be for me and Naoki and I don't mind eating most of it if Naoki doesn't want a lot of it. It's this this particular side dish is basically just used as a small small side dish. It's usually just a little corner plate thing that you find on anything in a bento box, in like, on a tray of dishes that you're going to be eating at a Japanese restaurant. Yeah, it's just a little tiny pile of spinach it's not like a helping of spinach no so yeah I don't know if now he will eat that much of it but I will <laughs> I love it but what's cool about this seasoning pack is that on the back it gives you different options so of course there's a traditional spinach option but if you're like ah I don't like spinach they give you an okra option and a mushroom option. Yes, and it tells you how many of each you need. It says you would need 10 okras or you would need one package of uh, mushrooms that are 90 grams. So yeah, you could easily do something different besides the spinach option. But I love spinach. So, And if you're wondering, why is it so quiet? It's because Mary is outside with Naoki. And while I am preparing my katsu, I'll let you watch some footage of Mary playing outside because I'm hoping Naoki took some video like I told him. Yay! So let's watch. And we're back. We have flour, eggs, and panko. And of course, don't forget your pork chops. I am all ready to start frying. Yes, but I'm actually going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait to fry them until Naoki and Mary get back because I don't want them to just sit out on the counter for very long because then they kind of lose the crunchiness of it so that's what's going to happen with that everything is all ready to go well they're back and now it's time to fry up the katsu yay So I have the fried pork cutlet all fried up and ready to be cut and then served. Yay! And 
dinner is ready. We have the katsu with some green beans and of course our spinach side dish. Yum, 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 yum. Of course, all over rice. <laughs> Are you gonna let daddy in? <laughs> and it's bath time for Mary. bath time is all finished and now I need to dispose of the extra oil that we had for frying so yeah I never like this part this is what it looks like after I've added the special hardening powder to it it's literally hard it's solidified so now I just have to put it in the trash Well guys, Mary has gone to bed and now I need to edit my video so that I can have it ready for y'all. Yeah. And tomorrow, I don't know what we're doing, but I really hope we're doing something because I'm starting to get stir crazy. Not really cabin fever because we do go out like grocery shopping and stuff, but like me as a person I want to go out and do more and I'm not and it's really bumming me out whether that going out being going to the park going shopping or window shopping or just going someplace new maybe really anything I don't care where we go or what we do really as long as we go out and do something but I have no plans and yeah so we'll see how it goes and I'll catch you in the next one don't forget to subscribe